Okay guys, welcome back to Brian's Action Figure Reviews. Today I've got a brand new haul video. My first, my first big haul of March. And I've got three big boxes to get through. So guys, I hope you enjoyed them. I hope you've been enjoying my podcast every week. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start by opening this one. This box, it does say Pokemon Pikachu. Pika Pika Funko. Definitely not Funko, but it is from Big Bang Comics. So let's open her up and see what is inside for my first unboxing of the video. Ooh, and there's one side and there we go. So if this is a live video, I'll be asking you, guess what's in the box? There is cardboard, there is little pop filters, lots of those. So once again, superior packaging from Big Bang Comics. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put down the box and pull out things one by one because the way I'm holding it, I'm gonna end up dropping something. So, what is this, this first thing? It is a replacement figure because, I call it a replacement figure because it's replacing something I kind of already have in my collection. And that is Masterpiece Grimlock, the Hasbro one. And this is the Transformers Studio Series 86 line. Transformers the movie, Grimlock and Wheelie. Um, anyone that knows me know I absolutely adore the G1 um, 86 movie and three series of it as well. So Grimlock, me Grimlock love challenge is one of my favorite characters from that. Well, not, not as much as other people love him, but he is up there. So I'm delighted to get him. He will replace my Hasbro masterpiece Grimlock because I have decided to cut back on the masterpiece figures because they're just too expensive and they take up too much time. Or take up too much space. I don't know why they would take up time. So let's move on to the next bit. This could be a quite long video actually because I've got a bit to get through here. And this is the box falling over. But seriously guys, this is the Transformers Studio Series 86 number 3 Blur. Another great figure from that movie. And anyone that can speak like that, as he did in the movie, is awesome. And delighted to get him my first time ever owning any Blur figure, actually. And uh, he's really cool. So, <clears throat> now to pick over this box. No, nothing fell out of it. <clears throat> no, it didn't. <clears throat> so, let's get to the more stuff. And there's a few firsts in this, for me, in this box. I love bubble wrap and I hate it. I love that it protects my stuff, but I hate that it's so difficult to get off. But it's fantastic packaging, so no damage. And here we have another from the 86 series. This time it's the old time a cup. And again, this guy, I've never owned a figure of cup. So delighted to get him and I can't wait to put him in my hot rod, which arrives sometime next week or the week after. So yeah, the 86 movie roster is really picking up speed to, for want of a better term. And the last one of this slot <coughs> is from the 86 series again. And it is Autobot Jazz. Jazz, the Moon Base 2. That's all that's blazing on my brain from that movie when Unicron is coming to attack. And delighted to have Jazz. I did have a Generations version of him way, way back when. So good to get him back. And the last one from this box was kind of a spur of the moment. Perfect when I saw they came into stock. Um, I hadn't planned on getting any more from this series outside of the ones I pre-ordered. 
all the salt, I had, they had them in stock, and I had a few extra pennies that weekend. And I had, of course, Transformers stuff arriving. I went ahead and got the TMNT NECA 2 pack, General Trag, and Granitor. <clears throat> the rock soldiers from the TMNT animated series, and they look absolutely fantastic. I can't wait to get those out and review them and look through them. So that's one box out of the way. So there is this box to go next. And I will go through these quicker because there isn't as much in them as far as I remember. So this box is from Geeky Nerd Toys. And this is from their sale. And they have thousands of packaging peanuts in the, in the box. But I picked up the rest of the Stiltman wave, which includes Gwyn Stacy and Spider Ham, Spider Pig, whatever they call him, which includes the Prowler. And of course, Peter B. Parker. So these were like $15.99 or $14.99 each. So good deal on those. Very happy to get those. And the last box, of course, is my is from my um never mind that. The last box is from my long-term dealer himself, Toys Arama and Nick Lacey. And these were pre-ordered, I would say June, July last year. I, I paid for them the minute they went up on pre-order. So they have only come into stock recently. So delighted to get them. Finally. And these are SH Figure Arts figures. So. First. Before I look at the, the Figure Arts stuff. I also got these, which are weapons for 112th scale figures. They are the ghost 112th scale action figure equipment. So you've got like, um, as you see on the back there, you've got all uh, the guns and radios and all sorts of stuff. You can nearly make a Sam, Sam Fisher splinter cell figure there. But the main event of this box is, of course, Sun Gohan, which looks great. Bringing back the bowl haircut. And of course, his master, Piccolo, who raised him. And so I'm delighted to be getting those figures finally. And guys, please stay tuned to the channel because I will be reviewing everything that I've just shown you in due time. So <coughs> stay tuned and make sure to subscribe, like, comment below. Tell us what you would like to see soonest. Because I want to start doing reviews quicker, as you know. I've often bought stuff into the haul video and then not rev had to review the figures out till a month later. Which is not good enough, I know that. So, yeah. Let us know, guys, what you want to see first. And I will work my ass off to do it for you. This has been Brian's Action Figure Reviews. Hope you enjoyed the video. And we'll see you next time, guys. Stay swifty. Bye!